Tidal locking is when one or more gravitationally bound celestial objects keep the same near side facing the other celestial body at all times as the two orbit around a common center of mass. Here we're looking at an animation of tidal locking occurring on the left and no tidal locking occurring on the right. In both animations, we have the Earth located at the center and we have the moon orbiting around the Earth in the counterclockwise direction. On the left, we have tidal locking. On the right, we do not have tidal locking. Whenever you look up at the moon, you are looking at the near side of the moon and you're always looking at that dark splotchy, what they call the man in the moon. On the left-hand side in the tidal locking case, you see the dark splotchy side of the moon is always facing the moon. Whereas on the right-hand side, the dark splotchy side is not always facing the moon. It is facing away, then it faces toward the earth, then it faces away from the earth, then it faces toward the earth. Whenever you have one side always facing another object, you have what's called tidal locking. In this case, the moon is tidally locked to the earth. We always see the same face of the moon facing the earth, but the earth is not tidally locked to the moon. If the earth were tidally locked to the moon, then the moon would remain above one geographic point above the earth at all times. Let's say the moon would always be above the state of Florida in the United States of America. If you lived in China, then you would have to take an airplane ride around to the side of the earth of the United States with the that had Florida so you could land and look up in the sky at night or during the day to see the moon in the sky if the moon and the earth were tidally locked to each other. One case where this occurs is the Charon-Pluto system. Here is Pluto in the center and here's Pluto's orbit and here's Charon which is a moon of Pluto and here is the orbit of Charon. Both Charon and Pluto always show the same side. So if I were to draw in just the red side of Charon and then I would just draw in the red side of Pluto where I drew in the sides that are facing each other. Always these two faces would be above each other. If you lived on this side of, of Pluto, you would have to take some kind of spacecraft to go around to the other side to see Charon up in the sky. In this particular case, Charon and Pluto are tidally locked to each other. In this particular case, the moon is tidally locked to the earth, but the earth is not tidally locked to the moon.